Hi and welcome back to some Warframe. Today I was we're going to build a pistol and I couldn't decide which one to build. The Furus, the Bolto or the Bronco. Bolto, not Bolt. Eh, same difference. Now this one needs a Oregon cell, which I don't have any of. And this one needs new roads. So we're going to build the Bronco here. By the blueprint for 15,000. Done. Go over to the market. And there it is, top of the list, above the Bronco Prime, which. Oh, I do have Oregon cells, didn't notice that. Oh well. Can't believe I've still got this blueprint for the Vasto here. I built them all. Should go through and clear my blueprints out, to be honest. Me. Too lazy. Oh, so the Bronco needs two new roads as well. Damn. So, to build this, you need two new roads. Which. Mm, that sucks. 1200 alloy plates. Again, that's a lot of alloy plates. 700 ferrite and 800 polymer bundle actually alloy plates that's not as much now because they do drop a lot more of them ferrite i don't know what it is about ferrite that evades me material wise salvage Been loads of that the polymer bundles not that hard to find either so another 20,000 it's going to take another 12 hours click build um, it should be interesting to see which one's better between the normal Boltor and the Boltor Prime the Prime does more damage than the dual Broncos I keep, for some reason I also keep referring to the Bronco as the Bratton <laughs> I don't know why and then when the pistol's done here claim that oh lost my voice uh, go to Arsenal, equip the pistol. Um, which this should start with B, not D. There it is. And there it blows. Damn, they need to fix that. And it looks the same as any other Bronco. 105 damage. That is a hell of a lot for a pistol, but these things suffer such a range issue. Wow, another weapon with no polarity slots to it. That's a bit of another letdown. Because the... them... Ankas... Ankros, whatever the hell they were called. They didn't have one either. Oh, that's a shame. The big problem with this weapon is the two magazine. If we go and we equip the the prime, it has six in the magazine. Ignore the damage; that's just with all the mods and everything on it. The magazine. I think this one had five to begin with, and that's what made it slightly better. Like the the dual Broncos. A magazine of five, which to me seemed a bit weird because it's four because it's two per pistol. So somehow we got one extra uh, slot. So one of them's got a three magazine, one's got a two. But it's just so small you, that you can literally get it to go up one round. Okay, so the Broncos are a 26 and finally actually starting to kill things. The problem is still the two shots in the clip. That is completely useless. Really useless. Oh, that I did not need to find her in the corner. Ow. Do you mind if I'm not on fire when everybody comes and attacks me, please? Oh, jeez. 
and they all disappeared. That's how we died, Ash. But yeah, uh, 26, because it's a shotgun, it needs multi-shot. Multi-shot makes any shotgun much better. So I've tried different combinations without multi-shot and I just could not get it to kill things, so this feels wrong after playing that event all <laughs> week. Killing the grenier. Whoa, that was a bit delayed. And the door's locked. There it goes. So it it is unfortunately one of those weapons where you do need the multi shot in there, but it's still way too big a damage area for it to be any use at all. Despite the fact it just killed the heavy. Unless I got another guy behind us. No, he's up the hill. So uh, now the multi shot is in there, I'm actually starting to get some decent damage with it. But as you can see, it's 26. Let one of you get around. Okay, okay. And any weapon that you have to get this high a level before it becomes useful is pretty bad. I mean, this weapon now, it's got the multi shot in there, is actually much better. In, it is unfortunately one of those weapons you do have to potato. You've got to put a catalyst in it otherwise it's just it's not worth building it. I haven't put a catalyst in it and that's why it's taken us so long to actually start to kill things. And it has just been one of those really frustrating weapons. It mainly comes down to the fact it's only got two shots. It's reload is really nice. And you can kill something and then it practically reloads straight away. So the ammo is going to last a long time. I hit the wall with that. That's where the bigger problem comes into it. The heavies when you're using this. You've got to get into the face to do it. It's just nah, not worth it. If you're going to you build a Bronco, either go for the, the Prime, because the Prime one was a lot of fun, or just build the Jewel. The Jewel Broncos were a lot of fun. The fact it had four shots made it a lot more usable. I mean... Don't get us wrong, if you're building the dual one, you've got to build the single one first, and it would make sense to use it while you're building the, the second one of them. Get some levels on it, figure out how to use them, all the rest of it. Because when you're building the dual one of these, you've actually got to build two Broncos, but you can only build one at a time, so when the second one is building, you can actually be using the first one, which is something we should have done and I didn't think of. It was the same with the Viper. When I built the single Viper, I realised, well, why didn't we use it when we were building the dual one? The twin Vipers, even. And I do regret not doing that now, because it means I've had to build the single one anyway. And I could have got this done ages ago. It is a lot more fun once you've got a lot more damage on it, but as as I say, you've got to have the multi-shot in there, and it takes up so many points. You've either got to potato it, or basically suffer through until it's level, what is it, 20 or higher? Because you still need a Hornet Strike in there, so it does damage, otherwise it's pretty pointless to put any mods in it. Hopefully when they change the damage system, they're not going to ruin this too much. I need to find some enemies, you guys are killing them all. Is he really just standing there? Yeah. But as I say, it is fun. If you're going to build the dual ones, I would recommend using one of them first. Mainly because with the mastery experience you get from it. 
even if you just sit on the second one until you've got the the single one at 30 then use it in the dual one at least then you're gonna get mastery on it but we'll leave that off here for now as I see it you've either got a catalyst it or put up with it for a really long time <laughs> 26 before I've actually got it to kill things because my hornet strike is a nine Ugh. What a waste. Of the Hornet Strike, I mean, I would love to put the higher one in there, but I had to get multi-shot in here. And now it's in here, it is much better of a weapon, but I've got the dual one, which is even better. So I would recommend the dual one over the single one any day. So we'll leave that off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.